Hi, this is Thomas from Mars Moon Space TV. I am back after I uploaded earlier today a video from this area over here with this square framed hole or entrance or and this art rock. And I said in the video that uh, I try to focus on only one anomaly at a time in the video. Damn, that was hard. <laughs> because. If you have been looking at this Gigapan by Keith Laney, you would have been amazed about what you can find on this area. Okay, forget about what I said, only focus on one anomaly at a time. Take a look up here. What do you see here? Something here does not look natural. It looks like some, someone has carved something to put in. What to me, in my eyes, look like a little Buddha statue. Siddhartha. I don't think it's a, a statue of Buddha, but, but it reminds me of one. Uh, and the way it's been placed in the middle of, of this uh, shelf, or whatever it is that is standing on, on, on top of this area. I asked Keith Lady earlier today about how wide he thought it was and he estimated the area from here to here and that's an easy estimation we don't know for sure that to, to be about 30 meters maybe for 35 so this is not the world's biggest outcrop but it's not a, a tiny small area we are looking at either this one here, this it's amazing because it don't look natural at all to me. There are so much going on in this picture. Take a look at this rock here. Does it look natural? Now let, let's get closer because when you see this, you will say that's odd. Look at the rock that we have underneath this rock. Now here is what looks like or seems to be a hole and the same over here. And what is coming up here? Is there some kind of a reinforcement steel or, or what? Is that something added there to keep something in place? This is amazing because that does not look very natural created if you ask me. There are so much going on in this image. Look at all the rubbles around here. All this stuff here. Notice all these angles here. 90 degree angles and, and this one here. Seems you have 90 degree angle here and it's rounded up here and going down here and just like small steps. Now on, on a tiny stairway. This is truly, truly, truly an amazing image. Now have a look here. I am not giving any statement because I can't give any statement. I can only say what I see. Look at this one here. I'm just just follow my little red arrow dot here. Is that an animal? Underneath this rock that has been probably crossed by this rock when when it fell apart, or is that an animal that uh, are trapped underneath the rock, rocks here and and stuck here and died? It looks like an eyeball here, a, a mouth, a, a nose here and. I am not sure, I cannot say it is an animal, I cannot say this is the leftover was one of one and I can especially not say if it is so what kind of race it is but of course how would I know this is on Mars. Look at this one, it's a little bit like a reptile, like uh, uh, something uh, from a dino, you see they are having these uh, odd shapes on, on the back of all the way down to, to the tail. Uh, this is an awesome picture. Are we looking at an animal trapped underneath the fallen rocks here? I don't know. Now, 
take a look at this one here. In the middle. I'm a musician. <laughs> oh, I claim to, to be one. I'm not sure everybody agrees. <laughs> That's another story. Look at this one up here. That looks like some kind of string instrument. Uh, of course, I would say some species sort of guitar, but it is not. But look at this one here. How is this long piece of something got that shape it has together with, with, with this uh, with the with with this object it is uh, resting on? What are we looking at here? Is that some 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 reinforcement steel? And look at the shape here uh, uh, next to it. And when I say reinforcement, we were just looking at the rock over here and something coming up in that hole keeping this one where it's supposed to be probably but again I can't state that is what it is because I simply don't know there's lots of other stuff look at this one over here this is a uh, it's a uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be, be serious with, with what I am doing here uh, and I want people to, to like my work and, and take me serious. <laughs> uh, so I try to, to find the right words to express what I feel. Look over here. One eye, a mouth and a nose. And <laughs> Have any one of you ever seen the movie The Mummy? <laughs> a mummificated something or a statue or, or something that uh, it looks odd, it looks out of place. I, I won't say that this one doesn't look natural, but, but looking at all the other anomalies in this uh, image, uh, this one seems kind of out of place too. Uh, the way it, it's shaped round and, and almost like some sort of a head. But I can't say that it is a head, I can only say what I see in this picture. Let's see how close we can go. We can actually go pretty close here on this Giga pan here. So we can speculate on what this could be. Another thing I noticed uh, on this image is I'm just gonna zoom all the way out. Look at this area here. It looks like, and again I can't state that, that it is what happened, but I can say what I think could have happened. It looks to me like someone threw a bomb or something and made this hole in the rock, created this giant hole in the rock. And, and, and why noticed that from here there is a few meters to the rocks outside here where there is no huge rock there are small rubbers laying there but 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 no huge rock it's all a few meters away i'm no uh, demolition expert uh, i don't handle the uh, explosives <laughs> but i am saying what i am thinking that this whole area here could be created by a huge bomb once thrown now have a look at this one down here i saw that on a distance if you know what kinds of tools NASA has to blur out stuff and rockify stuff to make it look like the background, then you would have no problems in believing that you are looking at one eye socket, two eye socket, a mouth and the hole from where the nose is on a skull. But again, I cannot state that is what it is. I can only say what it looks like to me. So this is an amazing picture. And again, looking up here, something is on top here that's got a different color than the rest of the rock here. What could we be looking at? Uh, and are we just having a sneak peek inside of it here? It looks like there were some wires, uh, something here inside. Was there is some technology here that was blasted to pieces and again it's not a statement it's just a thought there are so much going on in, in, in this image here 
and we can look at all these weird shaped angles that are all around on this image here. Here we have the square hole from last video. It's also an amazing picture. We have this something, a bar or something come out. And notice this one sticking out from the rock. This is amazing. This is awesome. This is a great picture. All credit to Keith Laney for, for making such a wonderful picture. If you look at this one up here on top, it looks like there is a face on it here. and <laughs> I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it looks like. So, what can I say? Go check out the Gigapan. Explore the Gigapan yourself. Tell me what you think we could be looking at here. This is a truly, truly awesome Gigapan. And there are so much in it that I have been looking at here and I forgot half of it because <laughs> I had to show it now here but <laughs> I can't find all the stuff that I found before <laughs> because it's hidden under all the rubble and rocks that has been thrown around here. Look at these rocks. Some of the shapes of this rock does not look natural. It looks like an ancient construction was blown into thousands and thousands of pieces where not much survived the blast. You see, I suffer from gigapenokitis here. I just can't stop when, when I just get started here. So let's take the last area over here. This is an amazing area. And you can see so much odd stuff. Look at the shape, this rock. Had, uh, and again here, look at this rock here. It seems to have a 90 degree corner uh, standing up here. <laughs> this is amazing. Again, this rocks like this don't occur in, in, in nature. In, in, in a natural way. This gotta be something that's come from an ancient civilization, someone that was on Mars and habited Mars before it for some reason that I don't know much about uh, was destroyed. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go now, leaving the link to this image. Thank you for watching, until we see you again, take care, bye.